I'm Nicole Alshouse and we are putting Alabama to work. We've got a job fair coming up at the BJCC and Red Diamond Coffee and Tea is taking part in that. I am now joined by Steva Ostel. Welcome to you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Good to see you again. You as well. You guys have been around Red Diamond since 1906. Tell me a little bit about the company. We have. So back in 1906, we were on Morris Avenue in downtown Birmingham on the cobblestone street with a horse and carriage, <laughs> horse and buggy delivering provisions. That's how we started. Fast forward to now and we have the fifth generation of the Bowron family in leadership at Red Diamond. So it's, it's a wonderful story, it's a wonderful company. Now let's talk about this beautiful corporate office that you guys have in Moody. Gosh, we moved out to Moody 12 years ago, 12, 14 years ago. So we've been out there a while and we have a 70 plus acre campus. Yeah. It includes, uh, how big is our lake? Maybe a 12 acre lake. So employees bring their fishing pole and go fishing after work in the evenings. <laughs> It's, it's lovely. We have corporate building, we have the manufacturing plant, we have a warehouse, and then we have a landscaping building. So it's, it's all well managed. It's absolutely beautiful and state of the art because it is so new. So it's a wonderful place to work. And really Red Diamond has a big footprint. What areas do you serve? Our foot, we're a national company, so we're based in Birmingham, have always been here, but we sell our coffee and tea in particular nationwide in 48 states. Okay. Well, I had it for lunch today. Wonderful. Right, right before you came here, I did not know you were coming. I'm so um, glad. For people at home that think, hey, we might want to work for Red Diamond, what's just one thing you would say to them? I would say come and talk to us. Steva, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And go see Red Diamond at the Career Fair at the BJCC from 9 to 1 July 22nd. We're putting Alabama to work.